Yo, what's up boys? I'm Don and I'm pro player in Wild Rift. And in today's video, we are going to review the patch 4.2. Let's go. Here we go, guys. Well, basically this stuff, I don't really care. There are three new champions. The first one is Wayne and he's coming like, what? In a couple of hours. He's gonna be, in my opinion, very strong. He will have like a lot of sustain, a lot of damage, so we're gonna see guys, I'm gonna make a video, maybe some guide, I'm not sure, but yeah, we, we're gonna see. The new dragon, the new dragoon, boys, the new dragoon is gonna be insane, I like it, that's a really good change, it's something that, for example, lol PC da doesn't have, meanwhile Wild Rift has, so it's great, it's great, Wild Pass... Mm, high risking, not bad. Maybe for you, the sims out there, it's insane, but for me, it's fine. Home screen customization, that's pretty cool. Button customization, that's also cool for those people who, who like to kinda be special. Hextech crafting, mm, interesting. We're gonna see it. It's coming out tomorrow. Events, puzzle, pride, whatever. Okay, champion changes. This is the most important thing. First of all, Olaf, his attack speed is nerfed from 20 to 10%, but there is a reason, guys. Look at his new passive. So basically, instead of uh, gaining 1% attack speed for every 1% healing health missing, now he gains 60% to 100% attack speed and 10, 25% like vampirism based on missing health, maxing out at 70% missing health. So do you realize how broken it is? Like this passive is actually insane. And let's see guys, they will remove basically the healing from the W and put it to the passive. Meanwhile, they will give the W lower cooldown, bonus attack speed. Olaf will have shield bro on his W and the shield duration is 2.5 seconds. That's insane. Well, and also the E damage got buffed again, so his jungle cleared is gonna be super fast. The Ragnarok, the ultimate, well, basically, they nerfed a bit the resistance that Olaf gets passively. But now, if you press the ultimate, you will not lose these resistances, okay? You're gonna keep them. Moreover, you will get attack speed and attack damage. A bit nerfed, but that's fine. But the most broken thing is now the duration of the ult is three seconds but you can extend it if you are in combat you know if you're just autoing and in and autoing so yeah it's it becomes almost like infinite as long as you hit enemies you are unstoppable ah, unless you don't get one shot at <laughs> well renekton w gets uh, shield breaking passive kinda marksman critical adjustment so basically guys every single adc got buff in attack speed and range okay this is the, that's the only thing you have to know look attack range and attack speed base attack speed also buffed i mean guys as you can see attack speed and base attack speed got buffed almost for every single adc here we have caitlin corky i mean guys basically all the adcs got the same buff you know and kaisa guys this is big this is very big kaisa can now upgrade her abilities with only one item nah that's so broken she's gonna be insanely strong Attack range, attack speed, attack speed per level, attack damage per level. Skills can be evolved by purchasing equipment. Skills can be evolved by purchasing advanced equipment. So you just buy one item, you can already upgrade your abilities. Senna gets range buff. Ha, <laughs> for sure, yeah, Senna needed, guys. Senna needed it, for sure. Tristana, oh ho. Tristana, initial attack range buff, passive growth, unchanged, attack speed, guys, Tristana, Kaisa, Lucian maybe, Senna, and probably Jinx, Jin I guess, I also think he's real, these ADCs are gonna be so strong, so strong bro, ay ay ay. And also Vayne. I mean, overall, guys, every single ADC got buff. Base attack speed 30% now. Insanity. Ion and Yasuo gets more attack speed. I love it. All champion adjustment. Here we have 
movement speed plus 10 and crit damage rate from 200 to 175 because yes they're like adding new crit items a lot of adjustments to the edc champions they gotta balance it somehow and that's this is the way they do it and they all they're also trying to make the game much more faster you know this is the reason gameplay changes first of all you can't use the active boots anymore like like before you know you press it to get movement speed now you can't so and they added plus five yeah it's whatever immortal shield bow guys this is the most broken item by far okay what is important is the stats yes the build pass is important as well but what is more important is this guys passive and stats 40 attack damage critical strike attack speed physical vamp lifeline passive you get the shield and also you get lifeline will provide you 10 percent vampirism like this guy this item is insane boys ay 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 and essence river got buffed as well now i do believe that essence river is a very good item for illusion and i think even for the israel i think it's not bad we gotta try it out later on infinity edge yes basically the crit damage increase from 200 to 230 got nerfed from 175 to 205 it's okay -ish. muramana boys we finally get the pc version of the muramana now this thing can work with the abilities too and not only with autos like it used to before now you can you can build this thing on fiora for example now fiora will be so strong actually because she will q q you know e it's gonna be insane and kane for example now kane blue kane will be i think in the meta i would say because all edcs are back in meta since they're all squishy kane assassin blue form insane cool now short tools this is one of the most interesting items actually because this item got a lot of change now it's adaptive guys now you can actually build it for the ad champions and you're gonna get extra damage we still gotta test it out because we don't know how it's gonna you know how it's gonna work in game so we will see it guys but th this item for gwen insane insane bro Moon Creeper, Phantom Dancer, oh, another broken item. I do believe that if you buy Shield Bow, Phantom Dancer, Infinity Edge, some penetration item and uh, whatever last item, I, I think you become like almost unkillable because you have self peel, you have shield, you have move speed, you have crit, you have attack speed. What else do you want more? What? Rapid Fire kind of got uh, a bit nerfed uh, on his uh, range. Ah, I didn't say anything about Phantom Dancer. Guys, basically, basically, look at this. 25 ED, 25 crit chance, attack speed 30, and now listen, Shadow Walk, it's 5% movement speed, okay, to kite, to kite enemies, you gain 7% extra movement speed now, and you can also get up to 30% attack speed, and you can keep it up until you hit something, if you hit tower, minions, doesn't matter, you still, you still gonna keep up the stacks, this is insane guys, OP, broken, storm razor, it got changed the build pass, I see, the collector, this item, I don't know, honestly, I have like, helped, but I think it's a very good item for Jin and the Draven, maybe even uh, Graves, who knows, but we need to test it guys, but it's a, a good addition to the game guys, we have new items, I'm happy for it, the runes, inspiration, transcendence, and perseverance, basically guys, I will tell you take these two runes for every single champion you play in wild rift and it's gonna work like easy peasy best runes for the ranked game and since there is no kind of laning phase anymore i will explain a bit later ah right now just right now base recall guys basically if you base recall you will get and within five seconds the speed of the health record of mana and health of everything whatever it's doubled you know so you gotta heal faster and also get back to the lane faster so guys you can literally win trade on the laning phase put your health down and then just press, press the base recall full hp went back to the lane without losing anything almost insane insane baron nasher now guys the baron nasher changes are actually you know why now nasher actually counts you can get it early and if you get it early you insta win the game so you don't have a choice to lose nasher 
okay you can't lose nashor guys trust me if enemy get the nashor gg okay it's gonna be super hard to play against it because now if you kill enemy who has the nashor buff he will not lose it he's gonna keep it you know that's the problem and also look at the 9000 hp bro it's almost 2000 hp less do you realize 2000 hp less so now nashor actually big huge elemental dragons and elder dragons so basically guys since they want to make game a bit faster they will make sure that the elemental drag spawns four minutes 30 seconds and the elder dragon 18 minutes you know and the elemental drake will this spawn at 1730 personal thing that dragons are gonna be huge guys we probably gotta play for the dragons in this new patch herald is cool but i think dragons are more important maybe the not first one but the others one for sure for sure okay kill and us his bounties basically guys the first defeat the first blood you can get max drop bounty base bounty 300 gold i guess or 600 i'm not sure nah 300 the max the max gold that you can get for the first blood is 300 then kill three 300 two kill streak is 400 and then you just go up up and up this is so weird i like i'm not sure is it like if you get eight kills in a row you will get 300 plus 700 more or how does it work i honestly don't understand if you have any ideas please tell me in the comments below minion range advanced guys this is a huge change for the laning phase considering that there are there is a no laning phase anymore but still it's a good maybe not good maybe good change look minion aggro is reduced from two seconds to one so if you hit enemy and kite back instantly minions will stop the aggro after one second so you can keep playing you know you can tethering you can kite 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 like you can play around it now actually harassing enemy have sense kinda the cannon range attack is now 300 meanwhile the range attack uh, range minion attack is 550 25 i think that's interesting change now you can basically set up a dive a bit easier considering that cannon is more close so the cannon dies first instead of the ranged one so you understand me right we're gonna see it the next is shield guys do you remember when i mentioned the nasher if imagine if you just do more one mistake your team gets aced enemy get the nasher and they just run down mid they get the inhibitor if there wasn't this nexus shield buff then the game would be gg instantly you know yeah they get nash bye bye you lost with one mistake but this nexus shield gives you basically the second chance to kind of come back i don't know but i am not sure if this comeback is comebackable because yes nexus gets the shield and once it's over gg the nexus shield is gone is the nexus shield lasts for 20 seconds yeah you see 20 seconds and bye bye what's more nothing pacing adjustment plating is now plating will go like off 730 730 buff and smite i mean it's the less gold you know for the junglers on the lane the buff spawn 730 and the minion spawn interval time is 25 seconds starting from minute 4 to up until minute 10 and also guys now if you get defeated in the game the time spent in the base is m higher so make sure to not die okay because look it's actually big time within for example on the first level before three minutes it's four seconds or 15 seconds that's huge that's actually a lot you know like what the hell and towards the late game it's uh, it it goes a bit down but three seconds but yeah guys make sure to not die okay now they also nerfed a bit the gold that you gain from the minions now for one simple wave you will get 200 and for the cannon wave you will get if i not mistaken 204 because cannon is 80 now uh, so you have two milis right with 60 120 80 cannon 200 and 40 range so yeah 240 and 200 for simple one so if you lose two waves it's a uh, basically one kill for 140 so guys don't miss waves okay thank you and the herald guys now we will have only one herald i do believe it's important to open up the map maybe earlier maybe a bit later on because now it deals 2k damage plus 50 per level of the champion of the of the hero that uh, has this herald mm, it depends guys i don't know i feel like if i if i'm playing a scaling champion i would still go for the herald but if i'm playing a very early if i'm playing an early game champion then i would just go for the drake so i can scale a bit better in the exchange i i might drop tower but i guess it's worse kinda i'm not sure I'm gonna see it guys the towers the towers are now 3k hp guys and now they deal more damage so if you 
end up diving someone and you dive it poorly then gg you're gonna insta die you're gonna get outplayed under the tower and you're gonna int okay so now actually diving skill is very important hmm? and there are some skins guys and yeah sentinel skin diana is very good i love it it comes on the 6th june hmm, not bad okay guys thank you for watching this is all for the review comment below what changes are more important compared to other ones and yeah, subscribe, like, and see you next time. Bye-bye.